Simmons, with Isaiah Simmons, um, how quickly can you expect him to kind of pick up everything the Giants do, including obviously Wink in the defense? Really, I think you have to get to know the player first and see what he can handle. So we're we're really in introductory stages. Um, I know he's going to give everything he has and and meet with Eggs and Wink and you know try to pick up all the things we need him to pick up. Um, so he'll be in here, I'd say, a bunch. You know, kind of not just learning how we do things on the defensive side of the ball, but learning how we do them. You know, in terms of our program and the expectations and the standards. So. Um, just talking to him the brief time I've had a chance to, to meet him and talk to him. I know he's eager to do that, and uh, you know I expect him to be in here a bunch. If I could just follow up quickly, sure. I've obviously talked to him less than you have. So yep. um, when you find a player who it see, certainly seems is enthusiastic about the trade, happy for the new opportunity, and comes with that mindset, how much easier, for lack of a better word, does that make a transition both for the player – but honestly, for you guys as well. Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's good for both sides. Um, I know he is excited to be here. We're excited to have him. So, uh, just going to require a, a good amount of hard work to to try to catch him up uh, as quickly as we can. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Rock. Brian, when you when you guys signed Shep in the in the off season, I don't know if there was any, you know, concrete. Uh, uh, expectation that he would be able to to get as far as as he has here I, I guess what is he has he shown you enough do you think to to prove that he can help this team this year yeah you know everything we've asked him to do and we've had a a, a rehab plan I know that I've talked about for him um, he's done a nice job of, of really kind of hitting each marker that we've set for him um, you know up to this point so uh, pleased with with where he's at um, I think the trainers have done a really good job with him um, and then he's done a good job just, you know, himself as a player of, of being ready to go. And I'd say performing well each time he's had an opportunity to go out there on the practice field or in the game of, you know, being conscientious, knowing what to do. And then, you know, he's he's looked he's looked pretty good in terms of his quickness and his explosion, you know, coming back after a couple of years of, of injury. So uh, I'm pleased with where he's at. I think there's probably a lot of people on the outside who, who look at, him playing last night and particularly him feeling that punt and, and say, well, that's that's not a role that someone who's got a secured place on this roster would probably be doing in a last preseason game. Do you, do you see it like that? Or what, what were you trying to get out of all that last night? Yeah, no, that was the next start, next step of, uh, of his rehab to, to get him out there and, and play a few more reps and live competition. And, um, you know, again, I told you guys last night we were – you know, he can catch punts, um, and it'd be good for him to, to get out there in the live action and catch a punch. So, um, you know, where he's at, what we've asked him to do, I'm, I'm happy with the progress that he's made. Bob Brookover. Hey, Brian. Um, hey, Bob. Is there, is there any uh, update on injuries, and, and, or, and if not, is there yeah. anything? Go ahead. Um, I don't have I don't have a lot of them because it's we're not at that point yet. The one that I do have, and I'll give it to you guys, is is Bryce Ford Wheaton will be out. He'll be out for the year. He he had an ACL, unfortunately. And, and or any of the other that, that obviously impacts. Yeah, the other ones there's still any... people getting looked at right now as we speak. So I have more for you guys um, Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, the other guy I wanted to ask you about is Tommy DeVito. He, he, I think he called it his worst moment uh, of, of his career, first pick six of his career. But what did you say to him after that, and how did you feel he responded to that last night? Yeah, I said go out there and sling it. You know, those are plays are going to happen. Bad plays are going to happen in a game. And uh, to have a next play mentality and, you know, go through the play and just kind of see what happened, talk about it, and move on and go out there and, and sling it around. Were you happy with what you saw from him in this camp, and did he maybe even exceed expectations? Um, yeah, I don't. I don't really have expectations for any player when they come in here, other than just come in here, work hard, learn the material, and try to improve. Um, and I think he's done all those uh, since he's been here. Um, you know, he's been a good addition to our to our quarterback room. He'll be the first to tell you a long way to go, a lot to learn still, uh, but certainly he's gotten better each day he's been here. Thank you. Yep. Dan Duggan. Hey Brian. Um, hey Dan. As far as power turner, do you have an answer there? Like, do you know who's going to be the power turner week one right now? Uh, yeah, I have a good idea. 
but we'll see. Is that Eric Gray or is it somebody else? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I'm not going to get into week one and all that stuff right now. We'll, we'll just kind of uh, keep practicing here and see what happens. And why didn't Tyree play last night? Yeah, that was that was he wasn't ready to play relative to um, you know coming back from his from his injury. Uh, I don't see. Oh, I guess Jordan's goes hand up. I'll steal one from him anyways. Um, and then Darnay Holmes, like, does he have value to this team? Because obviously, you know, it doesn't seem like he obviously won the slot corner job, but does he still have value to this team? Yeah, sure. I'd say, you know, everybody we have right now has has some sort of value. What that is. You know, I think is varying degrees, but uh, have a lot of confidence and, and trust in in Darnay, um, and we'll see how everything plays out. Thanks. Yep, you got it. Jordan Renan. Hey Brian, what's going on? Hey Jordan, how are you? Good. I'm curious. What went into the decision with Colin Johnson? Is the guy who last year might have started, uh, you know, prior to that injury and. In, uh, you know, he didn't make it through the cuts this year. Like, what, what, what kind of held him back? And uh, in your opinion, is he still kind of getting back from that Achilles injury? Yeah, and you know, Jordan, those it's a good question. I'd say really with everybody that we've kind of moved on from, and that we will move on from. There's it's long discussions. They're hard discussions. Um, you know, we have a, a room that we felt comfortable with, um, and I figured it would be a good opportunity for. For him to, to get a jump start on, you know, potentially the next team doing him the right way. But, uh, you know, a guy that's a, a hard worker, just, you know, we've had we had some other guys that we were going to keep. Okay. And, and then continuing with the wide receiver position, uh, what, would you, are you planning to have Wandale on the initial 53 or at this point do you wait? Yeah, we're, we're, I'd say we're still we're still in in discussions on that. Patty Trina. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Good, Patty. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Dave, last year your roster, your, your situation was a little different in that you were just coming off of training camp. You were getting to know these guys, what they can do and whatnot. So when you cut guys, your message to them, from what I understand, was stay ready in case we, we need you to come back. Is that still your message to these guys, even though you have a better grasp on you know what you have and what you're going forward with? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Um, Again, those those discussions are are difficult. Um, had some this morning, and and really that was really the message is everybody has to stay ready. You know, I appreciate all their effort and their hard work they've put into things, and fortunately, it, it, you know, it's not going to work out being on the active roster. But uh, you know, stay ready, and um, you know, just appreciate you know everything that they've contributed up to this point. Um, but tough tough days. Thank you. Yep, you got it. Tom Canavan. Hey, Brian, how are you? Good, Tom. How are you? Good. When you make final cuts, how do you start? I mean, do you sit there and go, we want nine offensive linemen, or do you say, give me your best four guys and we'll build off that? How do you? How does that work? Yeah, that's that's a really good question. So, uh, you know, Joe and I have, have a lot of discussions, uh, as I've said numerous times, and, you know, the, the scouting department, you know, I'd say – you know, the guys who I've mentioned before and he's mentioned before are, are actively involved. The, the coordinators and their position coaches give their input. And then as we start, you know, having discussions about roster building, there's a lot that goes into it, Tom. There's, um, I mean, there's a lot of different variables that go into it. So it's not just let's, let's make sure we have this amount of players at this position or this amount of players from this position. Uh, you know, maybe you have more than you did last year at, at a particular position, and then obviously you have to have less at another spot. Uh, there's, you know, if you take this guy, does how does he contribute to the team? You know, can he play, you know, multiple roles, and can he also do some stuff on special teams? Or this guy is just really good at this spot, so we need another backup for him because if he goes down, then we have. There's, there's just so many different variables that come up, and we try to exhaust all of them. Um, you know, with our conversations and, and bring other people that we have a lot of trust in into them um, and then ultimately try to make the best decision we can for for putting a team together. It's, you know, it's always, you have to collect talent, you know, throughout the offseason and draft and, and free agency, but, you know, this is about building a team. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different things that go into it. Thank you. You got it. We'll take two more. Ed Valentine. 
Hey, Dave's. I don't think we touched the uh, the defensive line yet. So sure. Uh, DJ Davidson's another one who didn't play last night. Is that a little bit like Tyree, where he, he just is. wasn't ready? Yep, he is. Him yeah. and I'd say Ashawn both were, um, you know, more rehab plan, if you will, than you know, just weren't playing. If they were, you know, we already had an idea that they weren't going to play based on, um, you know, the training staff, the sports science people. Um, so that was the plan. And what's the status with Ryder Anderson? Um, yep, he's still he's still out. So we'll see where you know we'll see where he's at here uh, over the next couple of days. But he's um, you know he's still he's still out for a little bit. All right. Yep. Thank you. you got it. Last one, Art Stapleton. Hey, Dave. Hey, Art. With, uh, with the way your schedule is structured, and obviously the deadline sitting there on, on Tuesday, um, I mean, I assume you guys have discussed how you're going to go through this and go through the deadline. Is it important for you that when you hit the practice field on Tuesday that you kind of have things settled, or are you ready to kind of go right up until the deadline with, with the numbers if there are guys that still have to be, uh, you know, either waived yeah. or released? How are you guys handling Yeah, I, I think – you know, this is pretty much the way it happens every year is, you you know, you, early on in the season, you know, you, you put your roster together, but there's always, you know, things that happen throughout the league and, and cuts and maybe additions. Uh, you know, we'll do the best we can of, of, to put it together. And if there's changes, you know, that go all the way up to the, you know, when we can make them, then there's, you know, there's changes. But, um, you know, we have a, an idea. Obviously, we've been talking after the game for a while, after we watch the game and then this morning. But, um you know, it's, it's kind of ever-evolving art, you know, particularly early on in the season. 